masking standard data type such as text or number column is straightforward, especially with a masking policy or a tag-based masking approach in Snowflake. But what if a table has a variant data type with JSON data that includes sensitive information like government ID or a credit card number, and especially when your JSON document has nested element? How do you mask an attribute that are part of such variant data type while keeping other information visible to your end user or a data developer? Let me explain what I'm trying to say here. Let's say we have a standard customer table as shown here. If I need to mask a sensitive column like government IT or a credit card number, I can add a policy object where the input data type matches the column data type and apply the rule to mask the data. However, if a column has a variant data type and holds a JSON document, how would you apply masking in this case? And that's what this video is all about. This video will explain column level security in Snowflake for those sensitive attributes that are part of variant data type, so-called semi-structured data like a JSON files, including its limitations and tricky technical interview questions that may come up in your job search. So stay tuned until the end to learn all about column level security and dynamic data masking in Snowflake. Welcome to my channel, Data Engineering Simplified. For all my demonstration, I will be utilizing the free trial edition of Snowflake on AWS. Make sure to adjust the video quality to 4K since all my recordings are in that resolution. To speed up your learning process, consider increasing the playback speed to 1.25x or 1.5x. For direct communication, feel free to message me on my Instagram account. If you are interested in systematically enhancing your Snowflake skill, check out my premium Udemy courses. This is my SnowSight web UI and let's quickly understand how we apply a masking policy on a standard table. So this is my standard customer table, which has around 13 columns. And if you look into the government ID, credit card number and card provider, it has all masking policy associated with it. And if I hover into this masking policy, so this is a simple masking policy where policy takes an argument called PII text of text data type and it is mapped to government ID which is also text data type. Likewise, if I go to this credit card number which is a varchar data type and if I go to card number which is also varchar data type, the single masking policy is applied to this three different column which is considered to be a sensitive information in a case of a customer data. And if I go to the data preview, if you look, the first 100 rows are visible and government ID, credit card number, and my card provider, all of them are appearing as a mask. Let's go to our worksheet and quickly understand what's the definition applied here. We have already seen, this is my simple masking policy, which is taking a PII text and whoever is accessing the column, which are mapped to this masking policy is giving this masked information rather than giving the raw data. And this is how the altered statement executed to map this masking policy with this column or table field. Now let's create another table which has a variant data type and let's see how we can mask the variant data type. So I'm going to change my context. So this is my demo to database and public schema. This is my role and this is my virtual warehouse. All good. Now I'm going to create a table called customer underscore JSON and it has only one column of data type variant. Let's create this. So my table got created. So when I query this table, I don't get any data because I don't have any data available. So I'm going to load customer data where the customer JSON document looks like this, which is start with a customer ID and it has a lot more other information like customer first name, customer last name, gender, government ID and so on. And so this is my customer.json file, which has total 1000 line item. And each line item is nothing but one JSON document, which represent a logical customer entry. I'm going to upload this sample file into my customer underscore JSON table. After that, we'll understand how we can mask sensitive information for a customer which has variant data type. So this is my demo 02 public schema and customer underscore JSON, which has only one column called JSON underscore data of variant data type. So I clicked on load data and I got this screen. And let me quickly drag drop my customer JSON file. 
so my customer dot json file of size 446 kb is available now this is going to be loaded to demo 2 dot public customer underscore json table let me click on our next button now i am going to choose the strip outer array equals to true because each of the line item in the file is a individual json document and i don't have to change anything else and simply click on load it has loaded thousand rows successfully let's click on done so first 100 rows are visible and this is how this json data looks like let me go back to my worksheet now after the data got loaded let me execute select star from customer underscore json this is how my json data looks like and if i click on that this is my simple customer json looks good now if i have to extract each of this element i can give the name of the column and then i can give a colon notation followed by the customer id which is nothing but this individual element which is available at the root level so i can give the name of the column colon followed by the attribute name and we all know whenever we are accessing any element from the json document the attribute has to be case sensitive else it will return null and then i am typecasting the respective field to the respective data type and then giving an alias so let me execute this query and show you the result so now i can see i have a customer id customer first name customer last name and so on and i would like the government id and the credit card number and other information to be masked we will first try with the government id and we can follow the same approach for other sensitive columns if you look into a standard data type i have to create a policy object saying create or replace masking policy and i have to give the policy name and then the data type and then i have to apply my rule okay we are going to follow exactly the same approach however there is a difference so here i am saying create or replace masking policy mask json data and i am specifying the input parameter as variant data type and return is also variant and when it comes to account admin i am returning the json data as is however when role is not account admin in that case i am inserting this government id equals to mask value and this is true what does it mean it will take the json data and it will try to find this government id and wherever it has this government id it will insert this new element okay so now let me create that so my masking policy is created once my masking policy is created i am going to alter my customer underscore json table and modify the json data column and set this masking policy let me execute this my statement got executed successfully now let's run my select statement and let me click on this now if you see this government id is coming as a mast but rest of the other information is very much visible okay and if i run this query where i am extracting each of this individual element my government id is also masked okay good when i come to this page i can see my mask json data is visible under the masking policy column when i hover onto this masking policy it simply says the column is masked but which particular attribute is masked not visible through this approach and that is what the difference when we try to mask a variant column versus a standard data type so we managed to mask government id but what if i have to mask the credit card along with the government id before i apply the new masking policy i have to unset the and this is the command now i am going to define another masking policy called mask json data v2 if you look the line 70 to 73 so here i have a nested object underscore insert function where the first object insert is going to replace my government id with a masked text and then the return of this is going to be part of the external object insert function and here my credit card is going to be masked with the mask character right so if you have to really mask nested element or if you have to mask multiple attribute in your json object this makes the data developer's job a little complicated because we have no other mechanism than following this object insert inside that another object insert and inside that another object insert so let me create this masking policy 
Now it is successfully done. And let me alter the customer underscore JSON and attach this masking policy with column. So it is attached and let me refresh this. So if I come to this page, I can see this B2 masking policy is now attached with my JSON data. Now let's execute this query. So my government ID is masked and my credit card number is also masked. And when you come to this data preview, not all the information is visible here. It is difficult to validate and that's why you have to run the query and validate the data. Now you understood if you have a table where you have a variant data type and holding a JSON document, how you can use this object insert function and replace that particular attribute with a new masked attribute and whether you access the table using select star or whether you access attribute through the semicolon in both the cases your data will appear masked right now i have given a very simple rule however in your project you will have a very complex rule and accordingly you can also invoke a function or you can write your inline rules within your policy object hope you got something valuable from this video if you did please hit the like button your support not only recognizes the work behind this free content but also helps other to discover this playlist and if you think it can help someone else in your team feel free to share thanks for watching and let's spread the knowledge and growth together